in an effort to mitigate the effects of climate change and global warming in Nigeria. The Catholic Archbishop of Abuja, Mushrab and Ignatius Kaigama, has flagged off tree planting campaign for the Catholic Archdiocese of Abuja. The flag of ceremony which took place at Paso in Guagualada, Abuja, is in line with the Catholic Bishops' Conference of Nigeria initiative to plant five million trees in five years as a way of promoting the encyclical of Pope Francis, Laudato Si, care for our common home. Sitivis Tony Abba completes the report. As the world continues to battle with the effect of climate change, the Catholic Church is leaving no stone unturned to contribute to the mitigation of this global challenge. Last year, the Catholic Bishops' Conference of Nigeria, CBCN, came up with an initiative to plant 5 million trees in Nigeria within five years. That is what we have done today by kickstarting the tree planting for the Catholic Archdiocese of Abuja. We have demonstrated that this is necessary. We need more trees and people should be careful in cutting down trees. You find somebody who just says, oh, he wants firewood, he wants this, and then he cuts down trees without caring to plant another one. So we are saying, no, cutting down trees for no good reason is not right. And when you cut down a tree, you should plant not only one, but two. So we have demonstrated this and I'm happy the parishes have keyed in, the deans, some of them were there and they have promised they are going to mobilize their people so that we get more trees planted, it will protect the environment, it will safeguard us all in this earth. This time, the Catholic Archbishop of Abuja, Most Reverend Ignatius Kaigama, through the Justice Development and Peace Commission, JDPC, is planting 20,000 trees at Maryland Paso in Guagulada Area Council as part of her commitment to fighting climate change and global warming. Well, we are calling for what we call ecological conversion. And that's what Pope Francis is saying in Laudato Si, that we must not destroy this earth. God has given this earth to us as a gift. We must preserve it, preserve it, protect it, and promote its welfare. This is what we are doing, hoping that every outstation, every school, every hospital, every parish, every home will plant trees. And we shall flood the whole place with trees that will help us a lot because it will protect us from many harsh, harsh weather conditions. In line with these, and to promote the health of the environment, um, CAFOD and JDPC Abuja is currently implementing a project focused on the production of briquettes from bio-waste, such as dried grasses, old newspapers, sawmill waste, rice husk, and what have you. These are largely combustible waste materials that will be made from loose or low density waste compressed together to form a briquette. Um, this is not just a project, it's not just a program that will be implemented, but it goes a long way to show our commitment as an organization, our commitment as a members of the Archdiocese of Abuja to protect the environment in which we live. These briquettes can be used in place of charcoal, firewood, and coal to make or to cook our food. So in other way, it's, it's, it's a call to discourage us from felling of trees in our various homes, communities, societies, to encourage the, the protection of the environment. The statement made today cannot be overemphasized for the fact that when we talk about global warming, we think it is something that is restricted to countries that are industrial. We suffer the impact even more because we don't have mitigation strategies, not for simple flood. And so when we talk about our simple and modest way of controlling and mitigating the impact of global warming, we are doing the best that we can and we ensure that it is done because that's the only way we can do, with, do away with the impact, the negative impact. I want to encourage CWO members that are here 
to not just go back to their parishes, but engage CWO in ensuring that as mothers and wives and aunties, we begin to become not just advocates of tree planting, but we plant trees and give a tree to a neighbor to plant. And that is because women suffer quite a lot the impact of deforestation. We are also contributors of deforestation because we are looking for firewood here and there to cook meals for our families. But when we plant the trees in our homes, we are encouraging even the women in the rural areas to plant trees and to harvest just the branches but not cut down. Because if we have enough trees, we will have enough branches to dry and cook our meals. The tree planting campaign is in line with Pope Francis encyclical Laudato Si, Care for Our Common Home, the Earth. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you now and forever. Amen. In Abuja, Tony Abba, CTV News.